importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go toe-to-toe -to -toe and head-to-head? -head? This is football out of the very top drawer. This is EA TV. Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Everton up against Aston Villa. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Abdoulaye Ducouré plays a lot. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Moussa Diaby. It's with Camara. Diego Carlos. Bubakar Camara. Jeremy Frimpong. Well, a stylish moment. Neymar! Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Deli Alley. Well, sometimes we look for an explanation and just can't find one, but the truth of the matter is Liverpool have been well below par. Well, things just don't seem right at the club, do they? They should really be challenging for the title, but over the course of the season, they've just not performed as a unit. Valeri. Clear to see who got the last touch, so a throw-in it'll be. So check. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Douglas Luis. Diego Carlos. Right, time to send it over to Alex because I believe there's been a goal at the Emirates Stadium. It's a goal for Palace. They've scored the open up with 31 minutes played. Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. It's Neymar's corner. And crossed in there. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. So Everton get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. To confirm, Palace have scored in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. And forward this time goes Neymar with options aplenty. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Delhi. So check. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of one minute of added time. And so the first half story has been written. It's half time here at Goodison Park.
And the ball moving again. Work to do for Everton in the second half. Well, they're behind, but they might be onto something here. Jukure. What a commitment to defending. Right, let's go to Alex Scott because Alex, news of a goal in the Bournemouth game. It's a goal for Bournemouth. They're back level. It's 1 0 with 51 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Chris Meppham. Well, here's a story for you. A switch of clubs forthcoming. Chris Smalling has completed his move to St. James's Park, Stewart. Well, he seemed happy about the move based on the interviews. Talking about how he wants to finish his career at the club. Seems like a shrewd bit of business to me. Diaby. Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Oh, a really untidy loss of possession. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Chris Meppham. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Right, I believe changing circumstances in the Bournemouth game. Alex Scott has the details. It's a second goal for Bournemouth. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 71 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And the defensive intervention there. James Tarkovsky. Harrison had to come up with the ball and did. Well, this is the home of live football, and we'll have live coverage of the FA Cup for you. It's Everton facing Cardiff City. Well, the Cup always whets the appetite, and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. Neymar waiting to take it on. Fairly comfortable in bringing that ball down. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. And they're making a change. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. One minute of added time. And that is that. The final whistle here. And maximum points picked up by Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough. They dominated midfield. And they created chances as well. It was a great performance.